Douche! Welcome back to the channel, Ninjas. Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. We're gonna crack open this War of the Spark booster bags and see just what all is inside. I think we have a pretty good idea of what's inside. Really? Mine? Really. That's right. This is for a buddy of mine, little Chris, Warzone Matrix, up in Cleveland, Ohio. Wishing them all the luck if you're ever in the area. Make sure you stop by. It's just a crazy, awesome store. Uh, filled with every kind of game you can imagine. <sighs> Chris is going to do better than me. I already have a feeling. Good luck, sir. Good luck. <laughs> Yesterday's box was all right. But, uh, three Mythics. I only got three Mythics out of it. I was kind of a little, little bummed out about that, you know, but it's all right. Considering the value in this set, it's, uh, it's not bad. Um, what we pulled, regardless. I'm really still interested in the print run, though. Because the box is going for 110 bucks a box. I mean, that's... That's crazy. Those are really expensive boxes. Um, just for a set that just dropped. I mean, but you, when you got cards that are like $2.50 like that in this set, in the uncommon slot, and there's like two or three of them. And then a whole, like, a, like a, a plethora of like dollar cards, you know, that are um, in the uncommon slot. It makes for a good product. It really does. We got the lick, the liquor. I always call it the liquor. I don't know. I don't know what you guys call it. I'm not sure you guys are. If you guys are having a good day, make sure you punch that like button. It does help out a lot. Uh, we got to Mr. August Augur of Bolus. All right. Davin's Veto. Nice. Enter the God Eternals with a foil. I haven't pulled this foil yet. Tamio's Epiphany. Pretty cool card. Pretty cool card. I've noticed... Uh, how many emblems are in this set? That's one thing I haven't really... Like, no, I haven't paid attention to or noticed. Um, but I did pull a Nissa emblem yesterday in a box, and I was kind of, like, thrown off by it. Merchant's own good card. Vivian, Champion of the Wild. Um, yeah, I thought that was kind of kind of different. I'm not sure how many emblems there are in the set. Uh, I don't even want to make a guess on that, but... <clears throat> yeah, good luck. <laughs> uh, Sahili's pretty sweet. Tomic. Tomic, all up in this. Tomic. Come on, give me something really... Give me something juicy for this guy. Can we get a good pull out of here? We got Death Sprout, Ugin's, Ob, Silent Submersible. I feel like they should have done something more with this card. <laughs> it's a great card, don't get me wrong. I guess if you just make it unblockable or something, that's fantastic. Um, but if you don't, I, I maybe like you force your opponent to block because, I mean, that draw ability is really huge. I don't know if I've seen it in too many decks just yet. Augur of Bolas, God Pharaohs, Ral Storm can do it again with the Ral. Nasty Infinite Combo. Make sure you go back a video or two and check out the Infinite Combo. Just type in Bad Boy Gaming Infinite Combo on uh, YouTube and you'll find something pretty crazy. And we did it on our opponent's turn, which is all the more like insane. The Wanderer. Nahab Dreadhorde Champion. Oh! Nahiri Storm of Stone Foil. That's pretty sweet. Legit. Got a legit little pool there. I, I don't think the value on um, all, like, not all the Planeswalkers uh, have a good value. Um, especially in the uncommon slot. Uh, but some of the foil planeswalkers are going for a sweet penny. Like, I think some of them are up to like 16 bucks in foil. So if you guys have any of the foil planeswalkers um, in the uncommon slot, or any actually any foil planeswalkers from the set altogether, make sure you're checking prices on that because they are pr a pretty penny. Uh, there's uh, definitely the repetition with the rare slot again. We always get duplicates. You get like... Two or three duplicate rares. I know I've said this before in many videos, but it is what it is. We have Mayhem Devil. Have we pulled a Mythic yet? I don't know if we have. Ugin the Ineffable? I don't think we pulled a Mythic yet. That's pretty nuts. I don't remember the last time we uh, went this far into a video without pulling a Mythic. That's crazy. And these these two boxes, the one from today and one from yesterday, came from the same uh, case. So Karn the, Cre the Great Creator. That's another good pull. Back to back. You get the Ugin, and then you get the Karn. I mean, that's just phenomenal right there. That's pulling some heat out of this, man. Uh, we got Leyline Prowler, Mau, Kiora, and Awakening of V2 Gazi. Mm, that's really one of my favorite cards, I must say. Let's get that Tefri, the, the King of Sideboard. Can we pull Tefri, the King of Sideboard? We'll find out. Storm the Citadel, Gideon's Triumph, Kasmina, Dreadhorde Arcanist. Another really good pull. This thing's reaching like five bucks a piece right now. It's just a really good ability. Trample whenever Dreadhorde Arcanist attacks. You may cast targets into a sorcery card with converted mana cost 
less than or equal to Dread Horror Canis power from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. The downside is if that card would be put into your graveyard this turn, exile instead. So in those kind of builds, running like uh, Feather and whatnot, I think if you were to cast it, I don't think it goes back to your hand. I'm not sure how that works. If you have Feather out and have Dread Horde out, does it go back to your hand? That's a good pull, too. I haven't seen this in a while. Bolus of Citadel. And a Spark Harvest. Pretty sweet. Does it go back to your hand? If you have, I gotta just test it out on Arena. I can't remember how it plays out. Or maybe, like, depending how you um, arrange your triggers or whatever, after the fact, like how they resolve, maybe that'll play a factor into it, I think. Dreadheart, I can't, again, wow, really cool. Still, no Mythic, and we're halfway through the box. That's insanity. Yeah, but if someone knows about um, how that how that works out with Dreadhorde Arcanist and Feather, like which one, you know, has a... Uh, oh, I don't know the word for it. Uh, oh, Dreadhorde Butcher Foil. That's pretty sweet. Nice. Peel. But which one takes presidents? Presents? Presents? Which one, which one gives me presents? I don't, I don't know how that works. Still no Mythic. This is crazy. We are more than halfway through the box with no Mythic. What is going on here? Finale of Promise. There we go. Finally, we got a Mythic. It's good old Finale of Promise. Not a terrible one either. I'm going to do a value video on all these cards. See what has gained, what has lost value over the past Cranko Tin Street Kingpin. Over the past two weeks. That video, I think I'm going to do after this week. Um, that way there's like, you know, two weekends of tournaments that ran through and we'll see where the prices are at and what all cool new decks are out there and talk about them. Pretty interesting stuff. Mizium Tank still. Uh, oh, another Storm of the Citadel. I said another because I pulled a foil Storm of the Citadel before. Very interesting. Still at one Mythic, so the, the bottom half of these boxes might just be really juiced up. We're going to find out. Heartfire, I do like that card. Flux, Narset, Finale of Glory. Does this surprise you? If that surprised you, that we pulled a second Sorcery Mythic, you let me know in the comments. You just let me know. <laughs> if that surprises you. Merfolk Skydiver, Kiora, and Single Combat. All right, all right, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. What else, what else, what else? The Pride Mate, pretty good. I love the artwork on this card. I really, really do. Priest Elite Domri, Anarch of Bolus. What a foil. Tails Light Shield. That's a lot of foils. I think the box from yesterday only had four foils. This one's at like six. One, two, three, four, five, six foils already. Six foils already. That's pretty crazy. Blind Blast. Are we going to pull two rare foils? Is another question. Teo, the Elder Spell. Great card right there. Great card if you're playing around with Planeswalkers or just want to sweep the board with Planeswalkers. If you're running black, that m most definitely is going to be in your sideboard, I would assume. Leyline Prowler, Bond, Haple, Solar, Blaze. Each creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. Not a bad card. Not a bad card. I've seen um, less and less competitive um, creature builds uh, in this meta. There's a lot more... Uh, like trickery afoot, if you must say. This is a really good one, though. Sarkhan the Masterless. I can't believe I didn't drop that video. I made the video with that deck tech like two weeks ago, and I just neglected to drop it. I feel terrible, man. I feel terrible, but I did drop a deuce. Uh, moving forward. We got Mr. Skylord, the Rally, the Wanderer Finale of Eternity. There it is again. Unbelievable. Unlikely aid. Second time we pulled that foil. Pretty cool. I think this is our eighth box. So right now we have pulled three finales. Three finales up in there. Just, just, just say it. Just point it out. You know, just, just throwing it out there. It happened again. Firemind Vessel, Neoform, Nahiri, Dreadboard, Butcher. Now I'm expecting to pull one, uh, one Planeswalker, Mythic. That's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm guessing here. Or a god. But I'm thinking it's going to be a Planeswalker. Eternal Skylord, Bond, Davriel, Mobilized District. One of the less sought after rare lands in the set. For sure. Mobilized district. I still see him play though. They just see him play. Bond of Passion, Bolt Ben, Narset, Awakening V2 Gazi. The second rare of V2 Gazi. No, that's not how things are supposed to go around here. You gotta be kidding me. That's not what's supposed to happen here. Evolution Sage finally shows up. Great uncommon. It's like two bucks at least. 
Tamio, Collector of Tales. Nice little pool there. That's recently gone up in value as well. Pretty cool. We're down to four packs. Four packs. What's it going to be? Cyclops, Electromancer, Lady Spark, God Pharaoh, Chandra, Fire, Artisan, Foil, Soul Diviner. It seems like if you get one rare foil, you get two rare foils in your box. Pretty nuts, but we did not pull a really good foil rare. What was the first foil rare? I have to look at that again in a second. I think we pulled two foil rares, didn't we? I think so. Evolution Sage again. Wow, nice pull. Emergent Zone, great card. Boom! There it is. Pulls the Planeswalker. Got the Liliana, baby. Nice pull, man. I am very upset I didn't get this myself. Wow. Leave a like if you enjoy her breathtaking look. It looks like she's going to just devour your soul. Like, if I woke up in the middle of the night and I seen this chick, one of two things would happen. One, I'd be extremely turned on. Two, I'd be fearful of my life. I'm not sure which emotion would take, uh, would, 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 would like overtake me first, you know? Which one would overcome me first, but I don't know. I, 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 Liliana, you're gorgeous, babe. That's all I'm saying. Prison Realm, Gideon's Triumph, Sahili, Oath of Kaya, and Ashandra's Hyrule Helix. Wow. So many. So many foils in this box. Wow. Unbelievable. We got the Price of Betrayal, Elite Guard Mage, Arlen, and Narset's Reversal to close it out. How many foils indeed did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine foils. It's pretty phenomenal. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. It's a great glimpse at what all you can get in these booster boxes. But, man, I, this was a lot of fun opening this, and what a nasty pool with that Lily. I mean, Lily, you got a little silly there. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm going to drop another Deck Tech video here in the next probably 24 hours. It's going to be something pretty slick you're going to want to stay tuned for. Appreciate all you that watch. Skidink, skidink, skadoosh.